So, uh, be safe out there, guys. And I gotta say it, but I know you're gonna do it. Don't try this at home. Okay, before I forget, I need to give the usual disclaimer about this, uh, dangerous, toxic, corrosive chemicals are being used, poisonous gases are being evolved, needs to be done outside or in a fume hood, wear personal protective equipment at all times when uh, handling the chemicals, and I'll tell you what, it stinks. There's a lot of hydrogen chloride coming out of that thing, so I've backed off a little bit from it. I'm glad I'm doing this out in the great outdoors here. Okay, this has been a bit of a live and learn experience. Uh, my first effort at removing gold, or recovering gold from east waste, it worked. I got a lot of gold, but it's all mixed in with a lot of sludgy, nasty stuff, and iron and copper pins, and all kinds of crap. So I've got to figure out how to separate that out. Um, I've got it stashed aside, and um, maybe that'll be the subject of another video. So I'm going to do this again, and uh, this time I've got, you know, less stuff in here that's going to sludge it up, I think. I've got just mainly, you know, memory sims, a lot of gold plating on here. Um, I've got a lot of fingers in here, that kind of stuff. There's there's a lot less of the other stuff. There's no no big chips or... Um, stuff like that that had a, a hundred pins on it that were all iron or copper that, that just sludged the thing up. So hopefully this will be a lot cleaner. There'll be a lot less gunk that I have to uh, separate from the gold. I'm also taking the advice that I saw online. I've got a fish tank pump here. A little fish tank pump and a hose that's going down to the bottom of the uh, beaker here. And it's going to pump air through it through the whole thing just to keep it agitated and add oxygen to the mixture. Um, I'm going to use the same mix of chemicals I used the first time, just 30% uh, hydrochloric acid and 3% hydrogen peroxide. I mean, they're dirt cheap. I've already got the acid. Use it, you know, with my pool and use it for cleaning around here. So hydrogen peroxide's dirt cheap. I don't want to spend more money on chemicals, a lot more money on chemicals, than I'm going to make um, from the gold in this. So I want to keep it cheap. So, I mean, using chemicals I've already got on hand, you know, or, or, or really cheap is, is the way to go, probably. So, um, some sites say you don't even really need the hydrogen peroxide. Just the air bubbling through it will work eventually. But uh, I've got hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to use it. So, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll start this up again. I'll, I'll fill it up with the, uh, with the chemicals and start it going. And we'll leave it sit for another week and see how it goes. Okay, the chemicals are in, and just immediate reaction, just like last time. So it's starting up already. Let me uh, get it, uh, get the pump plugged in, and get it covered with with glass, and uh, we'll see see what it looks like then. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the pump running or not, but uh, it's going, it's bubbling. So I'll just let this run for a week and uh, see what happens. There's a, a lot going on in there right now, but the, the reactants are fresh, you know, the, the acid's fresh. So I have a feeling I'm gonna have to stir it a little bit from time to time because uh, they're packed in there pretty tight. I probably should have used a bigger container or put, put less material in it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Don't have a proper watch glass, so I got a little sheet of glass over the top. What the heck? Like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of money on this. More money than I'm going to make in the gold. So I got a piece of glass. I'm going to use it rather than buy, you know, watch glasses off of uh, eBay or Amazon. Keep it cheap. So we'll see how this looks uh, in a while. But I'll tell you what. If I stir this around a little bit, there is a lot of free gold in there. It looks like the bubbler technique is working really well. Uh, the gold is coming off faster than it did last time, just letting the stuff sit for a week. So this is good. This is working really good. I don't know if you can see if it's showing up on the camera. All of, Yeah, it's showing up. All the gold that's floating around in there. So, going to let it keep going. It's working good. 
Okay, this stuff's been bubbling away over here for a little over a week. I just haven't had time to deal with it, so today's the day. So I guess it's been like a week and two days it's been in there. And the liquid has gotten really, really dark green. It's almost black. And there's a lot of gold floating around in there if I stir it up. So uh, I pulled out a piece the other day and looked at it, and it looked like all the gold was was pretty loose on it just needed to be you know washed off or, or or rubbed off with my fingers to get it off and I just didn't have time to deal with it so today's the day I'm going to uh, get my personal protective equipment on the lighting's not great it's pretty harsh out here I'm gonna get my personal protective equipment on my uh, face shield my uh, leather apron and my gloves and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to filter the liquid through there, dump everything into the colander, and then wash everything off. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this liquid because uh, apparently it can be used again. The uh, the metal dissolved in it, the salts dissolved in it will attack um, the next batch I run through. So I'm going to keep it. Plus, it's getting really concentrated in uh, various metals. Nickel, copper, whatnot. And I have seen videos online about how to precipitate that stuff out of solution. And uh, serious, serious e-waste scrappers um, don't waste anything. They'll, they'll precipitate out those other metals and sell them even if they only get a few cents on the pound on them. So, I'm going to keep it and uh, try it just for my own education and edification. I'm not expecting to make a lot of money off the copper and nickel in there, but give it a shot. I may make a video about that. So anyway, I'm going to get started, get geared up, dump everything in there and see how it looks, and then start cleaning it off. Anything that looks like it still has gold on it will go through the next batch. Alright, I'll stop as I go from time to time and... Uh, Show you what it looks like. All right, so here we go. I'm all geared up. This isn't going to be easy doing this one-handed while holding the phone. Once again, I did not set up my tripod and my uh, cell phone holder. I'm always in a rush and never get around to it. So, let's see how this goes, one-handed. Looks like there's still a fair amount of gold on some of them, but I'll bet it's pretty loose. And there's a lot, a lot of loose gold in there. There should be a, a lot less small debris than the last batch. I was more picky about what I put in this batch, though. More fingers and sims and less other stuff. So, hopefully this will be a lot cleaner gold. We'll see. Let me, uh start working on it here. Well, I learn a little more each time I do this. Better ways. Um, I've got the spray bottle here, and a lot of this stuff looks like it's still got a lot of gold on it, but I'll tell you what, the water from the spray bottle dislodges it. So I can't look at the camera and work the spray bottle at the same time. Uh, the water from the spray bottle dislodges it pretty well, gets most of it off. What doesn't come off, I can just rub with my fingers and it comes right off. The problem I'm having is that the, the stream from the spray bottle tends to blow the gold all over the place. I get it all over my little workbench here. In fact, there's a, there's a little piece right there. Just pick it up with my wet finger. Well, in theory, I need to pick up all the other ones. There we are. So what I'm doing now is instead of um, spritzing it with the spray bottle, because it tends to blow the gold all over the place, I'm just taking the parts and rinsing them in this beaker full of water. And boy, have I got a lot of gold in the bottom of this beaker. And it's pretty clean looking gold, too. I'm just uh, just putting the gold in there. There's no IC chips in there. There's not much plastic debris. There's no pins. It's just gold. So, that's a beautiful thing. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to take the parts out, rinse them off, rub off any sticky gold, and swish them around in this beaker 
so that the gold all settles to the bottom of the beaker and then uh, go through it. So far, this is what I've processed so far, every bit of gold has come off of every piece so far. Nothing needs a second treatment. So the bubbler, the bubbler really works well. It was in there for a couple extra days, true, but uh, yeah, it really works well at getting the, uh, dissolving the base metals and freeing up the gold. So I like the bubbler technique. Be uh, doing that again in the future. And look at all the gold caught on the uh, filter paper in the colander. Yeah, this this is this is a lot of gold this time, a lot more than my first run. Anyway, let me keep going because I've hardly even got started on this. Okay, I have finished rinsing everything. Um, here's the stuff that still has a little bit of gold attached to it. There's a couple of sims with some tenacious fingers that just wouldn't come off with vigorous rubbing. And there's a whole bunch of uh, ram chips in there that had gold-plated legs, and the legs didn't entirely dissolve, so there's still some gold on them. So I'll have to go through a second second trip, but uh, it's not much. Uh, here's the pile of stuff that uh, I got everything off of. So, you know, I would say probably 80% of it looks gold-free to me. And I really like the method of... Uh, rinsing stuff in the beaker. It works really, really well. Um, it gets gets the gold off, keeps it contained, doesn't fly all over the workbench, and uh, I have a lot less rinse water to deal with, contaminated rinse water. Um, you know, I was going through, you know, several of those spray bottles worth of water the first time I did this. They had a lot of contaminated water to deal with. This time, not nearly as much. So, and then it's much cleaner gold too. I mean I've decanted off most of the water and look at all the gold down in there. It's mostly gold. There's, there's a few bits and pieces, some plastic, probably some other stuff in there but it's mostly gold. Yeah there's some like chip resistors and some silicone uh, insulation and maybe a few tiny little IC chips but it's mostly gold. And uh, I got a lot more gold captured up here in this. I'm going to have to refilter everything because I got a hole in my uh, paper towel filter paper. And some gold made it through into my catch bucket down here. So I'll have to refilter everything. But that's not a big deal. So this actually went pretty quickly. I like this, this rinsing method. It worked good. And boy did I catch a lot of gold this time. I've probably got three or four times as much gold as my first uh, first effort at this. So I'm really happy about that. I'll, pretty soon I'll have enough gold accumulated to actually uh, try purifying it. You know, I didn't want to do it on, you know, small, small batches. I wanted to wait till I had enough accumulated to actually um, produce a, a significant amount of pure gold. So getting close to doing a purification run. So that'll be a future video. Anyway, oh, and also I wanted to mention I saved the liquor from the, this run the, with the concentrated metal salts in it and I'll use it on the next run. So again, you know, I did not dilute that with the rinse water so I have a lot less uh, wastewater to deal with. So that's, that's a good thing. So anyway, thanks for watching.